Nazi Germany's prize secret, the deadly V-2 rocket bomb, is assembled by U.S. engineers for testing. Rivaling the atom bomb in importance, the 46 feet of death and destruction is set in place by an ingenious elevating boom at White Sands Proving Ground near Las Cruces, New Mexico. Parts to make up 100 V-2s were brought from Germany, and Proving Ground officers are carrying on experiments involving war and peace uses. In this test, the warhead is replaced by scientific instruments, and a concrete blockhouse with walls 10 feet thick and a roof 27 feet thick houses the control personnel and the firing mechanism. The monster is in place, and here she goes, as shown by the slow motion camera. Climbing 75 miles above the jagged peaks of the Oregon Mountains, the great guided missile is directed and the results recorded by radio, radar, photographic and visual equipment. 60 seconds after leaving the ground, the rocket can attain a top speed of 3,000 miles per hour. In this case, the fight was controlled as viewed through a tracking device. But the future use of rocket power knows no limits. This camera, part of a flying laboratory, is recovered by Clyde Holliday of Johns Hopkins, who prepared it for its trip to the upper stratosphere. Rivaling the fantastic imagination of Jules Verne, the camera brought back a record of a flight into the heavens of a captured German V-2 rocket. At White Sands, New Mexico, the huge missile takes off. Air Force pictures show the rocket in flight and the flying camera automatically takes over. The huge projectile drops the Earth behind at the tremendous speed of 4,000 feet per second. The rotation of the rocket causes the planet to spin before the lens, and the camera photographs the Earth 65 miles straight down. The horizon, 720 miles away, and the curvature of the Earth are astonishingly apparent in this still picture from the film. An observer in the rocket could have seen San Diego, Salt Lake City, Kansas City, and San Antonio. Approximately 1,600,000 square miles of the Earth's surface was revealed. The rocket reached the 65-mile height in three minutes. This giant engine of destruction, designed by Hitler to annihilate allied nations, now serves the worthy cause of peacetime research.